Hey YouTubers, welcome back. So I've not been around for a while. Uh, as you can see, Bob's in prison. Because he's been a naughty boy. He's uh, kept escaping from the garden, burrowing under the fence and trying to get out. Why? I don't know. He's got a big garden to himself. So he's in jail right now and he's going to be in there for a while so I can rabbit proof the garden again. So make sure he doesn't escape. But anyway, we've got a little bit of a mail call today. Um, I'll tell you what happened yesterday. I was at a military show in Newark, which is about 52 miles from where I live. Uh, I've not been to a show in about probably two or three years, maybe. Uh, but I absolutely love it there. It's just, you know, you're just surrounded by World War II stuff. You know, and all, all the way up to the 60s, 70s and 80s. You know, sort of that era. Probably into the 90s as well. Um, it, was, it was great. You know, it, it was a great show. Um, we've got loads of World War Two guns, grenades, uniforms, you name it. It's a typical World War Two military show. I actually had a, a like an 80s M16, the M16A1, and I had that very same gun, or one like that, uh, not that same gun, one like that, back in 1980s when I was at school. So we went to Boulogne. There was a gun shop in the high street. I went in there and asked a guy in French if I could... Um, Hold this M16. He, he let me have it. <laughs> he just he just gave it to me. Took it out of the rack and let me. A school kid. He let me hold a gun. You know, and I have this very say the very one like it, the A1 version yesterday, which was awesome. I actually got pictures of it. I took loads of pictures, uh, which I'll be posting on my FB. Um, but anyway, so that's enough for yakking. Um, let's just uh, get some mail for them done, shall we? Uh, so this is fruit from using with milk. Uh, I've got this for my own rations to add to my uh, ration pack. But when it will get used, I don't know. I have no idea. I've got absolutely no idea. Uh, and of course, it's uh, it's coffee time. Of course. It's a nice day here in England. Well, sort of. Huh. As well as it can be. As well as it can be. There for a minute. Bag. Bag. Right then, what we got? Oh, it's a game. Oh, retro game. This is the 1980s version in the red box. The green um, layout. This is Scribble Scramble from Tomy. Uh, this came out in I think '85. I think this is one of the original '85 ones. Uh, it's basically a game where you maneuver that ball bearing around the course with a timer. Apparently, there's a hoops missing. It's quite common for this hoop to be missing, but it doesn't really bother me anyway. I can always make one. That's something I'm sure. But this is Scribble Scramble, so. There will be a video coming on this soon. As you can see, there's all the usual uh, <laughs> details and stuff. Squibble scramble. There are YouTube videos on this. I've always wanted this when I was a kid. And of course, it's got the original uh, 80s instructions. Squibble scramble. Uh, everything apart from the one, the loop that slots there is missing. The hoop. But uh, I will look forward to playing this. I always wanted this when I was a kid. I never got it for some reason. I never ever got this game as a kid. As I'm about to be laid up. Uh, my full operation date is on 31st of May. Um, so basically after that if I uh, wake up obviously. Because it's quite risky. Um, it's going to be. Um, I'm basically going to have nothing to do. Because I'm going to be housebound. And unable to move anywhere other than on a wheelchair. Um, so I'm going to need or be to lay on the floor, which I normally do anyway. But at least I have now something to keep me occupied and stuff like that. 
Excellent. Right, so that's Scribble Scramble. I look forward to playing that 80s game when I, uh, you know, I, I will do a video on it before I get laid off. I've got a whole month to wait yet before the operation. But uh, we'll uh, do a video on that. Of course, digestive chocolate biscuit, you can't go wrong with that. Coffee, on to a winner every time on that one. Right then. Oh, mm. right. So yes, there is a military show. I will now show you my military haul. Uh, what I got yesterday. I'm going to share it with you. So this is the new BCB uh, ration stove heater. It's got all the instructions and stuff on there, and all the information. ORP, as you can see, used for its ORP. So whether they put these in the new packs I don't know I'm not sure or maybe it's just a separate I got two because these are only two pounds each on eBay they're about five pounds each just for the heater <laughs> but two quid each you can't there's like a whole crate full of these things I thought oh man we've got to get those I actually got the heating blocks as well fire dragon so you've actually got uh, they've gone down the like the French route. You've got those blocks or bricks that you put about the silver foil. You pop them out. So that is awesome. And I've got two of those. These are only two quid each as well. So I could not resist it. Seriously, I could no, I couldn't stop myself. I thought, yes, we've got to have those because they're going to be bloody handy one day if I ever get better. Um, and I'll go out hiking and stuff, which I do plan to do. But it's a long way off yet because it's going to take me a whole year to recover. But this one here, I'm going to send to my buddy Apple Stump, uh, who just recently reviewed my um, all my my uh, my own like handmade 24 hour pack. But I'm going to send him a, a UK box just so he can see what the difference is uh, in the setup. So you're going to get a full box. And I'll send you one of these, buddy. All right. So I'll send you one of these packs. Probably this one. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. Just bang that in there. You know. When you go out camping, you can take that with you, mate. You can make yourself a fire. Or cook your food if you've got any mess tins or whatever. Or just keep your hands warm. Whatever, you know. So, put that over there. Heater 1 and Heater 2. Which was an absolute bargain. Uh, so, a sip of coffee. Oh. I found this um, 2003... Um, NATO mug, um, which, as you know, the one I have from the 80s is broken, so, you know, when I eventually get better, I actually go back out hiking, which I would like to do, and camp overnight and stuff like that. Uh, this would be very handy to make tea and coffee, and that'd be awesome. Always wanted one of those. That's two quid. Can you believe it? That's a bargain. Um, moving on to the rations now. Uh, this is the air crew lunch what they used to give to pilots and passengers uh, military service personnel passengers uh, as a, like a snack lunch it had like um, candy in it with mostly coated in sugar and it had um, which came out of there you basically just tip that into your hand shake them out and eat them then on the bottom half you have uh, which would have been gum and fudge in there. I can actually replace the fudge, because we do fudge here, I think. I can have a word with the fudge makers and see if I can do me some fudge. Uh, the gum briquettes we can get anyway, because I've got either um, the modern ration gum or I can get some usual UK briquettes to fit in there. But uh, I will try my best to fudge that. Whether I can replace the candy, I don't know. There is a shop in town which sells American stuff now. So I'm going to go and have a word with her and see if she's got um, thingy. But this is like a repo box. It's very well done. I must admit, it's exactly an exact copy of the real thing. You know, I've got it friggin' down to a T. So that's the air crew lunch pilots would have had this, and the fighter pilots, you know, the, the, probably the bombers as well, would have had that in their um, pockets as a snack. So there you go. That's that one. That was... Uh, of course, that came out in, uh, debut was in 1944. Awesome. Awesome. 
this is something I've always wanted, was the Emergency Flyer in Russian Mark II uh, by the AM, Air Ministry. Um, so re-instructions and carefully, spin it round, and it's got uh, the contents. We've been barley sugar, chewing gum, malted milk tablets, energy tablets. And of course you put a coin in there, which I haven't done yet. Um, I think a 1P would probably, might be able to do that. Or a knife, you can use a knife and stuff like that. The knife or sharp edge in slot and twist. So where do I get it in there? I don't know. <laughs> That's... Uh, Thank you. This is fourteen pounds. You know, I, I thought it was ten, but she uh, must have got the price wrong. But I don't mind paying fourteen pounds. We're about the same on eBay for a repo tin. Um, it's an empty tin. There's no contents in there. But you could probably try and replace some of it. Um, not all of it, obviously, but some of it. But um, you know, from Mark II, Mercy Flying Russian, I think it's pretty good. You know, that is pretty damn good. I'll be happy with that. I always wanted a tin. I just ordered. I just found another tin, um, something else on eBay, which uh, will probably be here soon. When that comes, I'll, I'll do a review on that as well. Um, but yeah, so that's two repo tins. Um, happy with that. Let's have a quick sip of coffee. I got this World War II French language guide. Well, this is a book, it's pretty special because it's signed by one of the World War II American veterans. It's got his numbers there, his name, I think it's Colonel, I can't make it out, it's Colonel something, I think. Uh, he was in Arnhem, he was in Bastogne, he was in um, Cherbourg. Uh, can't quite make that one out. Probably some French name or, or something. But yeah, he was in those battles. He was in D-Day as well, so there you go. One of the lucky guys that survived. And uh, in the back is also a special signature from one of the veterans. Uh, this was by McNamara. Uh, he was one of the um, journalists, World War II correspondents over there. Um, he survived, and I've actually seen him on video um, on one of the D-Day things. He was there covering D-Day, and as the troops went inland, so you know, to have his signature is pretty special. I'm not sure if he's still around. This book came out in '43, I think. I think it's '43. I think it was '43. There's a date there. Oh yeah. Yeah, 22nd of June, 1943, so that's one year before D-Day. So, uh, yeah, it's got your troops would have had, uh, some of them would have had one of these books. Not all of them, obviously, but some of them. To uh, help you communicate to the French people. So, you know, that's a good little thing to have. <laughs> good little thing to have, that. Awesome. Mmm, coffee. Awesome. Right, here we go then. So, this is another haul I found at an absolute bargain price. It was a K ration set. This is the later war, and this is called the morale ration. They added colours for try and boost morale. Whether it worked, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it would, it would inspire me um, to bring my morale. I don't know. Maybe the food inside would, but I'm not sure about the packaging, to be honest. <laughs> so you got your breakfast type K. Uh, of course, this is another repo ration, but this is you know done well apparently. And I bought three of these for ten quid. Can you believe that? Ten quid. Wow. Three boxes for ten. You can't get three boxes for ten quid with all the contents in it. So this would have breakfast. You've had meat and eggs. Uh, eat cold. After heating by boiling hot water with we'll biscuits and coffee, cereal, eat dry or crumble into canteen cup and add hot or cold water. Fruit bar or make into jam by stewing. Hmm. Three to five minutes. God, blimey. Fruit bar. Uh, I actually made that fruit bar. Whether you could turn it into a jam, I don't know. 
I'm not sure, but it has sugar, chewing gum and cigarettes. So we will be finding out what's in these today. I am just bling curious to see how accurate these guys are. You know, I'm, I'm curious. So dinner, you know, cheese should be eaten cold, uh, assorted biscuits, confection, lemonade or orange aid. Um, four lumps of sugar, chewing gum, cigarettes and matches for dinner and for supper. I really wish they'd not put that on there. That's a really bit annoying, but it's a supper ration. Uh, we don't want that. I just held the pack together. Uh, I have, I did have these. I think they got damaged. Uh, I got the early war ones: uh, coffee, biscuits, bouillon, confection, cigarettes, sugar, and chewing gum. So uh, we will um, do a review on these. Not today, but when I do the review on these, we'll find out what is in these suckers. <laughs> I am curious and I can't wait to find out. Right, there is something missing. Um, I, it was indoors, but maybe I dropped it. Um, damn, I can't see it. I've, I think I dropped it between here and the front room. Um, but basically, it was a, um, a P38 in its original World War II wrapper. The guy actually threw that in for free. Can you believe that? Wow. Awesome. Right, so that's my World War II hole. Uh, I couldn't spend too much because there's a few bits and pieces that I want from an uh, antique shop uh, in our village. So I had to be careful how much money I spent. So I basically got three repo items uh, for ration reviews or whatever. Um, if you want to see um, what's in these, You want to see what's in these two packs? Go to Steve1989 and watch his review on these two. And you'll see exactly what was in these, you know. Or if you put the emergency flying ration, you'll see Steve's video. Or if you put the aircrew lunch ration, you'll see that on Steve's video. Go and watch these reviews, guys and girls. You'll see exactly what was in these packs. It's amazing, seriously, truly amazing. Steve is so lucky. What I wouldn't give to try one of them. So, right, so moving on, there's lots of World War II stuff I wanted, but I just didn't have enough money. <laughs> but anyway, I saw this guy there, he was selling friggin' rations, can you believe that? I see he had a box of those, I see he had German EPA rations, he had a box of uh, Lithuanian rations, a box of American MREs, I saw menu 15 in there, I went through all of them. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, and um, I'll show you in a second. But yeah, so this is like menu number five. This is uh, beef tortellini with oriental salad. Starter is salmon passe, which I wouldn't be that. I, I actually hate salmon. <laughs> Soup, milky dessert, salted and sweet biscuits, coffee, tea. And chocolate as per usual, bulk standard for these things. This is one of the earlier ones. As you can see, there's no in nutritional info at the top here in a different bar. But you know, chocolate bar, jam, tissues, reheat kit, water, purification tablets, just the usual bulk standard stuff in the ICRs. Uh, 31st of December 2018, so it's now run out by a year. So there you go. So that was £10, guys and girls. 10 freaking pounds. You can't even get an OCR on eBay for £10. I tell you, I couldn't believe it. I thought, whoa, no way, I've just got to get these. And also, this is the one bargain of the century, this one. This Polish SRG Menu 2, which is a 2017 date. This was £10 for a Polish SRG. You can't get a Polish SRG on eBay for 10 quid. You know? <laughs> These things are about 21 to 22 pounds. You just can't get one for less than that. But to find one at 10 bloody pounds. <laughs> a Polish SRG for 10 bloody quid. Oh my gosh. Wow, man. Uh, of course, you've got your Polish, English, and I think is it French. Usual. Uh, 
SRG, as we all know, they have uh, canned meals in there, they have pate, they've got uh, those coffee sweets, yummy, three coffee sweets, oh, and the candies, or sweets, uh, got the cups, you know, usual uh, biscuits and stuff, or, or um, crisp breads, stuff like that, I think it was crisp breads in this one, but uh, yeah, so I might... I might do something special with these. I might do something special. So as you know, I can't do the full review because it, due to the amount of sugar in it. If I just pick out, say, like the pate and main meals and stuff like that and do those, just like do a, like a separate review or maybe a drink or something with the SRG and also the maybe that, I don't know, I don't know what to do with this I really don't know what to do with this because as we know it has that muesli in it, that chocolate muesli maybe, or some muesli of uh, thingy some description uh, this is packed in June 25th 2015, so this is one of the 2015 boxes uh, but I think what I might do is break this down and do separate reviews, like do the starter with a drink and maybe a passe or, or whatever, or some biscuits, and like have a milky dessert for after, or coffee or something. Uh, because, you know, the rest of the stuff, like energy bar and shit like that, I can't have. So I thought I might just try and do the meals and keep whatever, or, or eat whatever I can have, like soup I can have, milky dessert probably I can have, biscuits I can have, coffee. In the muesli maybe, nougat bars, I'm not going to be able to have those, chocolate bar, I'm not really supposed to have that anyway, <laughs> um, but we'll see, we'll see if I can do something with it, I'm not sure what to do with these right, right now, but that was my, um, basically my um, haul from yesterday, um, I'm trying to keep the price down, but there is a P38 and I probably dropped it, damn it. Oh, hang on, what's this? What's this? Oh, oh here it is on the floor. There we go. P38. Uh, I could probably put that in one of these, like that one, the breakfast one, because there might not be one in there. So if I put that uh, in with that, then you'll have a P38 to open the can with. Awesome. Right, so there you go. Uh, that's my video on the my... Uh, military show hall uh, and I'm not going to be able to go to that till basically next year so as you can see there's all the usual stuff there um, so I, I said to the staff uh, so we'll see you again I said no you won't so you won't see me for another year because basically I've got a foot operation coming up and I'm going to be laid out in a uh, home for basically day, till next year so I'll probably see you next year maybe <laughs> it'll be about three shows a year I think something like that two or three shows a year but I just had to go because it'd be one last time. I won't be able to go again until next year. I had a little bit of money spare, so I'll just sort of buy some bits and pieces for myself. I'll send that to my buddy Appleston with a um, probably UK ration if I can um, find it. Yeah, there's actually another guy sending UK rations for a tenner. A box, an ORP box for £10. You can't get them on eBay for £10. I should have got one, really. Uh, but I, it's something I want in my antique shop. I can't. I didn't have the money, so I just. Uh, you know, well, it all considered. But he will be there next year, so I will uh, go and see him next year and get an ORP for ten quid. Take I don't know thirty pound, get three MREs and send them out to people or whatever. I don't know. Right. Okay, guys and girls. So that is my Newark military hall. Um, we will be doing videos on some of this and that scribble scramble game. We'll be doing a, a review on that. Of this I'll put in my rations and uh, if you know I like fruit, fruit from music with milk, it's one of my favourites. Right, okay then. So I'll see you soon. Um, we'll try, I think I'll try and do something with these two. What, I don't know. We'll, we'll come, try and come up with a plan. So I'll, I'll try and keep the videos coming, guys and girls. I will try and both keep them coming. Um, but you basically, you know, you've got a little bit of stuff to look forward to. So that will be going to my buddy, Appleson. But I'll keep that one, put that in my ration. Even though I've got Polish and 
um, French and Lithuanian heaters in my ration, but I'd rather have one of those because, you know, they're the brand new BTB ones. But you can't get them on eBay for less than five pound, five pound or over, you know. Right, okay. Cheers for watching. And uh, thanks to who have subbed recently or if you stayed subbed, uh, we'll try and keep the videos coming. Uh, I'll send, try and do one every week. Probably on a Wednesday, this is Monday today, yeah, Monday today. So I thought I'd share my haul with you, what I've got in the military show. There you go. And I will see you soon. Cheers for watching. Oh, and go to Apple Stump Bushcraft Stuff and Things. I'll put his name down there. Go and watch my reviews. He, he did three videos on my homemade ration, sort of, you know, military, sort of stroke, civil ration. But I'll send him a box of, of a UK with that thing. And he can see what difference there is. And, um, you know, he will uh, get to try a full UK box. So, it'll, you know, it will it'll see exactly what's in one. Because he has never seen or, a, a, or probably He might have seen one, but he not actually have one. So, All right, cheers, buddy. You did a great three videos, man. I appreciate that. And um, as soon as I can find an ORP for you, I will uh, get you with that. And uh, get off. Traversing food, Steve, if you're watching this, dude. Um, I found two items, two missing items on eBay that I need for your box. Uh, I will get those and um, I will stick them in your box and hopefully I'll be able to get it off to you before my operation. Alright? So send me your address, dude, on via AOL. You got you got now till the 21st of May. Alright? So if you're watching this, Steve, get that friggin' address to me, dude. And I will um, get you sorted out, alright? Cheers, bye guys. See you next week.